Um, at about 10 p.m. last night, which is Thursday the 26th of January 2023, a 17-year-old boy was walking south on the Esplanade at Somerton Park. Um, as he approached Yarram Grove, he identified a white sedan um, driving up behind him and heard the voice of two men. At that time, one of the men was asking if he wanted a lift and the victim declined. Again, occupants of the car have asked him if he wanted a lift. The boy has said no again repeatedly. The boys continue to walk. The, the, the white sedan that was driving alongside him has stopped and two men have exited the car. The boy was approached by those two men, at which point the victim was asked again if he would like a lift. He declined. The two men have then forcibly pushed uh, the boy into the car and have driven off. At that time, the boy has identified four men in the car who were not known to him. The vehicle was driven for approximately two minutes through the suburbs of Glenelg South and Somerton Park before arriving at the intersection of Partridge Street and Pierce Street, Glenelg South. Through that journey, the occupants of the vehicle did not speak to the boy, and the boy repeated, despite the boy repeatedly asking to, to get out of the car, he was not physically hurt in the car. He was not uh, verbally threatened in the car. He was not robbed. He literally was asking to get out and the men did not say anything. At the intersection of Pierce Street and Partridge Street, uh, the boy identified uh, a build up of traffic, at which point uh, he was able to exit the car as the vehicle had stopped and was able to run away without injury. The men in the car did not pursue him. He was able to make his way home. He contacted police. His parents contacted police. The Southern CLB have been investigating on that point. The motives of this incident are not currently known. The boy was able to describe two of the four men in the vehicle. The first man has been described as in his early 40s, to late, his late 30s to early 40s, with a solid build, 190 centimetres, with a dark but grey beard. He was wearing a dark grey hoodie. The second man has been described as in his 30s, uh, Caucasian, uh, with a muscular build um, and 180 centimetres. He was wearing an orange t-shirt and a white beanie. And I did forget to mention all uh, men described are Caucasian, apologies. Um, Southern CIB uh, have been on scene since last night and Southern Police have been on scene since last night investigating uh, through CCTV, conducting door knocks and have continued doing that today. With that in mind, we are imploring members of the public, if you have any information that could assist us in the investigation of this incident, to please contact, um, whether it's 131444 or through the Crime Stoppers phone number of 1800 000 or via the Crime Stoppers website. Um, alternatively, if you have any CCTV or dash cam footage, we do ask that you um, assess that footage and see whether or not you can identify anyone acting suspiciously um, or any vehicles matching again. All we know is that it's a white sedan uh, in the area at that time to please contact those um, contact numbers. Um, I would like to appeal to the men involved in this incident. We don't know why you've done this. So please contact Christie's Beach Police and tell us is at the moment we've got a 17 year old boy who has been grabbed on the side of the road. And until we hear an explanation as to why, we will continue to treat this matter as serious as it has been reported. So to the men involved, please come forward. And that's it, any questions? I'm just curious to know, so you said the boy jumped out at an intersection. Was there any other traffic or any witnesses that you're aware of? So no one's come forward um, at the time because he has walked home um, from the scene. There was a fair amount of time between the time of the incident and the time of reporting. So we obviously have done some investigation at that scene for any CCTV or door knocks at this stage. We are again appealing for witnesses. So if you're at the intersection at around about at Partridge Street, Pierce Street, approximately 10 p.m. on the 26th of January, have a think about it. Did I see someone jump out of the car? Was that unusual? Do I have dash cam footage and can you come forward to police to provide it?
no matter how innocuous this it is, we do need that information. Were the car doors not locked? It was unlocked. And that's how the, um, the boy was able to exit the vehicle. Was he restrained at all? No. So the man, the, you can appreciate it, this is a 17 year old boy with at least two of the men described being in, a, in their 30s to 40s, all of quite solid build, 180 centimetres, one in 190 centimetres. If I was a teenage boy and I got four people like that in the car, I don't know what I'd do, even if I need to be physically restrained or not. So he was not physically restrained, was not hurt, did not, did not suffer any injuries, obviously was physically pushed into the car in the first place though. So they try and restrain him as he escaped, but you said he just managed to run out of so the car. He, this victim believed um, there was an attempt made that he felt something on his foot that didn't, uh, didn't otherwise, um, wasn't uh, grabbed, uh, was able to get out uh, relatively cleanly and uh, able to get away. Nothing was said during that escape? No, nothing. So does that strike you as bizarre? Why did you emphasise that there were no words exchanged? Um, because again, this is, this is why we're trying to understand the motives. We're trying to emphasise the fact that this is not a common incident where you take a 17 year old boy off the street, where you don't ask for anything, where you are not known to that person and where no threats are made and no robberies occur. So that's why we're trying to understand why this has occurred and get appealing for the people to come forward and give us an explanation as to why. And they were saying get in, get in. Did um, the, the victim describe accents? So there was nothing to uh, indicate other than, again, that they were Caucasian. There was nothing to suggest uh, any accents or anything like that. And it was, so they were coming, just, do you want to lift? Do you want to come with us? It wasn't a forcefully get in, get in. It was merely someone walk, driving past, again, asking, do you want to come for a ride? And I think, again, this goes back to the message you always give to the members of the public. You have to be so careful when you are out in public you are walking by yourself at night. You have to be aware of your surroundings. Understand if you do have any concerns, if you are scared, you know, run to a place of safety, call triple zero. Let me, people that you know know where you are, where you're coming from, where you're going to. But the advice we always give to members of the public. Is there any evidence besides this boy's statement? Uh, at this stage, the investigations are early. We're continuing with our CCTV inquiries. Um, we have repeatedly spoken with the victim and his family this morning. They are very cooperative. They, um, we are treating this as a genuine um, abduction and we will continue to investigate it as such. We have no reason to think that, it's, that that hasn't happened in the manner it's been, it's been described by the victim. Do you by chance know where he was coming from, like where he was walking to? Uh, yep, yeah, so he'd been coming into the city of Glenelg. He'd been out with his friends, um, had travelled down through public transport and was walking um, south. Uh, in the general direction of his home address. So he had a reason to be there. He certainly wasn't um, walking in the streets for no reason at that time of night. Is there any suggestion um, his abductors were looking to hold him at ransom, that his parents were wealthy, are they so, uh, a yeah. public name? Uh, what I can say, there's certainly nothing to suggest there's anything uh, untoward in that regard. The investigation is very early. All of the motives associated in these type of incidents are investigated, whether it's the nature of the family, whether it's uh, their antecedents of the victim, anything we always take into account. But there is nothing at this stage, despite the early investigation, that would suggest this is anything other than a random attack on a 17 year old boy. And opportunistic, or do you think he'd been followed? So uh, the boy did not recognise this vehicle until the, the moments immediately prior Prior to that, he was walking by himself and had not identified anyone acting suspiciously leading up to it.